This is a mini blender burger tutorial and I am CG Crafted. Skype 5 weapons are easy to create, easier than they seem. Just follow our basic rule to make it rule. Just like when you are drawing, uh, you probably don't, but when you are drawing, you usually start with base shapes then you add more details, except if you are me, because I don't even do that. But a lot of people do, and for modeling it's very easy. Use cubes, circles, extrude them into cylinders, and you have some basic shapes uh, of the weapon, like the barrel and the stock. Since you don't use only one mesh, it's easy to edit and replace them. Move them into each other if you want to. If the barrel is too long, just move it out of the mesh and that's it. For the main part, just keep extruding this side while adding details. This automatically adds edge loops and beautiful quad geometry so it will be pretty. When you are finished, just add this handle and add the basic shape of the stock. Now let's create this red side. I bleached the inner part and filled it with additional edges so the shading and geometry won't be weird. Time to add the subdivision modifier and add more details. And here just extend this, add the control loop cuts and this is it. On the bottom you can use insert now and uh, some other stuff you want. Add more objects to complement the weapons, use subdivision if it's needed. Try to keep it on a low subdivision level too. But the geometry is too complicated, it's time to add new objects, like here in the stock and uh, on the top. These are practically new panels, just put them on the top and that's it. If you have view shading when you turn on smooth shading, just go to the object data normal tab and turn on smooth shading. But don't do that one by one. When you are ok with the scarify weapon, select all objects, go to object, convert all to mesh, and this will apply all the modifiers you have. Ctrl J, and you, uh, that's it, it's now a single object. Still, when you go into edit mode and use L to select linked objects, it's easy to select the plates and other previously separate objects. Texture was very simple with the built-in node wangler add-on and the mask node that you can download from the net. It has built-in masks like edge damage and other cool stuff, but the edge mask sadly doesn't work in Eevee. Yeah, I chose a metal texture by the way and mix it with other colors to create the used scratched edge effect. And basically that's all. Fully you liked it, if you subscribe, turn on the notifications, check me out on DeviantArt and CGT and donate if you would like me to upload a lot more tutorials. See you guys.